What is going on guys? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe and we are finally back with Miraculous. It's been years. The Cartoon Gods <laughs> feels like been, it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the Cartoon Gods have been blessing us a lot lately. We've got Miraculous, we've got Star coming back, we've got Steven coming back, we've got Save the Light. It's been lots. There's a lot to cover. I am Michael Williams. I'm joined once again by Haley. She's back. She's here. <laughs> She's alive. Woo, kind of, yeah, for, for now. <laughs> yeah, she's... To record with Michael about Miraculous. Yeah, she's getting bodied by uh, midterms right now and school Yeah, well, I mean, that's over, but then there's just, yeah, more projects coming. So, you know, I'll get a break during winter and then, with, like, nothing's airing, of course, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> um, naturally. Yeah, I know, but we're going to talk about theories and stuff, probably. And it looks like, so far from Reckless, we are getting stuff, which is... I don't know what I expected, but I don't think I expected what ha happened in the first episode to happen to like the middle of the season, um, yeah. if not the end, honestly, because of how the pacing of the show had been thus far. But um, I don't know. After the first episode, it seems like it's kind of back to status quo almost. I don't know. Yeah. So we're just going to kind of give our general thoughts on the season two, like, the first few season two episodes, not like an in-depth thing. We're not going to go down every single episode and recap every single thing that happened. We're just going to give our overall opinions on what's been happening and kind of tackle the main big plot points and our thoughts on the direction so far. Um, I'm, we might not be using uh, any clips or editing images right now because the last time we did that, uh, we got... <laughs> We got slammed pretty hard uh, by On Entertainment, um, and that was just from using images. And yeah. granted, those were leaks, but these episodes technically haven't aired outside of, I think, the UK uh, and or France. So I don't know if putting any images up would be a problem. So, you know, if you want to just do your laundry or walk your dog or scroll the interwebs walk your uh, while, <laughs> while you're just listening to this, this is yeah. kind of like a podcast style thing then that might be what you want to do. I apologize for the lack of uh, entertaining visuals, but uh, that's going to probably keep happening until, you know, some of these episodes come uh, more to the Americas, and then we can kind of be a little more a little yeah. more lenient uh, with what images and or clips we use. But for now, we want to be as safe as possible because they're really cracking down hard on uh, people putting their stuff out there. So anyway... So like, what are your, yeah. uh, before we like get into the general, more specific stuff, what are your overall thoughts uh, on the season so far? Well, I pretty much mentioned like how I was kind of surprised about the first episode, which was The Collector, um, and how that kind of, you know, revealed a lot of stuff. Uh, do you want me to get specific now or you just want me to be a little yeah, more general? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Um, so basically we got the Hawk Moth reveal, which was, if not obvious, um, well, yeah, it was pretty obvious, but it pretty people obvious. were still. <laughs> some people were like, "Oh, you know, maybe somebody else." But come on, guys, <laughs> I mean, and need you guys to have that seat real fast. Uh, it's, not <laughs> a it's not a twin, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that happened, um, and that was pretty exciting, even though we already all knew the answer. And you know, we and I like to look into the trivia a bit, as always. So a couple of things that I noticed were that are in the episode is that you know it's interesting how. We saw how Gabriel kind of akumatized himself, which was an interesting move, I guess, to try and... I think he was trying to trick people. I was right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, you guessed that he that was him? Like, well, he I, I said, himself. like, because uh, people were really jumping on, like, when the Collector first came out from Soul Comic Con, they were like, oh, well, Gabriel can't be Hawk Moth now, which ironically was ex his exact reasoning for doing it in the first place, mm -hmm. but to trick people into thinking that, oh, well, he can't possibly be <laughs> Hawk Moth now. And I was like, ah, I don't know. We don't know if he can akumatize himself or not. There's no reason to necessarily think he can't. So it looks like he did. Um, and he did a really brilliant job of doing that, too. He, like, literally pretended to be mad and was just, like, calmly pushing furniture down just to <laughs> prove <laughs> a point and fit, set, set the stage correctly. That was that was pretty great. Mm -hmm. Great. And also, we learned that Natalie knows that Gabriel is Hawk Moth, which is yeah, interesting, I guess. Mm -hmm. So yeah, well, has she hasn't been akumatized or anything, right? No, or well, she we've you know theorized that she's probably going to end up uh, holding the peacock, miraculous. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll see how that we goes. Look forward to that. Yeah. Um, also, another thing that separate from this, but we learned that Kwame. We learned a little bit about more of like the miraculous ladybug backstory like our uh miraculous holder backstory yeah. i believe right yeah with uh master Fu and 
his backstory and so therefore the miraculous backstory and we learned also that the kwamis can't be recorded on film or photographed mm -hmm. so like you know a little more <laughs> that's pretty cool uh, the little things that make them different i guess um so i can't wait to learn more about that and also you know their history hope they get to interact more with other kwamis because we finally saw that uh ways mm -hmm. interacted with uh tiki and that was nice to see yeah, we learned that Master Fu was like a guardian from years and years ago, and there's like a bunch of different guardians. He's the last one, apparently. Um, so that's pretty interesting as to like how... Because if there are other Miraculouses outside that box, I wonder where they would even be. Yeah, and also like, what did... Do we know what Master Fu did to like screw everything up? Because he said he did. Or um, we never learned that, did well, we? I think, I think he, he um, gave... Uh, the two people, the peacock miraculous and the uh, the butterfly miraculous or whatever. Didn't um, um, Marinette asked, where did you get the book, right? And um, no, well he she he asked her where she got the book. No, but she also asked when she gave it back to him, like, oh, where did you get this book? And he was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was on a trip to Tibet, I think, and he got it. So yeah, maybe that's to tie into that too. Interesting. Oh, you're, oh, you're talking about uh, Gabriel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty interesting, actually. Because uh, now she's like, she's not so sure, obviously. that I think that's what the main part of that was. She was like, hmm, where did this guy get this? Because she, she was like, yeah. she really hesitated. She was like, eh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. So I think she's, Marinette's still pretty suspicious of uh, Gabriel being potentially Hawkmoth. Uh, I don't think she actually trusts him because that, that, that is very suspicious that you know that book. <laughs> it's so obvious but um of course you know adrian how would he he how does he feel in all this he's like oh you know like, you think it's really him i don't know <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. I, I think he's pretty much convinced it isn't so far or just because mostly he wants to be convinced of that mm -hmm, uh, exactly but eventually it's gonna have to hit the fan so i don't know how that's gonna work <laughs> out um i feel like eventually hawk moth's gonna end up becoming relatively good and we're going to learn more about his desires obviously he wants the ultimate power to like bring back his dead wife or whatever something like that <laughs> we uh, don't exactly know do yeah we? it's something in that ballpark so we'll probably learn his tragic backstory and then uh you know kind of sympathize with him and then adrian will learn that and maybe they'll end up working out a deal and then the peacock miraculous will end up being like the only real bad uh in the entire series so <laughs> we'll, we'll have to wait and see but um, I think something along all those lines will probably end up yeah. happening. Um, but yeah, that was like the biggest episode. Uh, all the other ones, mostly for the for the most part, kind of followed suit with the first season. A little little bit of changes, kind of like subtle nods towards the, what's going to happen coming up for the rest of the season and season three. Uh, we've been getting you know some subtle hints that about Chloe joining the team, being nicer and being helpful and resourceful because she was helping. Uh, Ladybug and Cat Noir during that one battle, um, and she actually was, you know, pretty much assisting. They kept kind of bringing that up and driving that home. So that's obviously kind of hinting towards the uh, "quote unquote" Justice League that's going to be you know, start building <laughs> yes. between uh, Nani, uh, Nan Nania, uh, Nino, <laughs> Alia, and uh, Chloe with uh, Marinette and Adrian. We don't know if they're going to know each other's identities or not. I feel like once that many people have. Kwamis, then it's going to get complicated. It's going to be pretty hard to not know. Uh, they so all be... just have to go out of the room at the same time. Like... <laughs> yeah, they all have to leave. Oh. Uh, like two, mm -hmm. two is bad enough. It's already suspicious enough. But yeah. all those people, really, guys, come on. Uh, so something like that will probably <laughs> end up happening. Um, there's been a lot of, you know, ship shipping goodness for all you people yeah, out from there. Yeah, like in Prime Queen, they really wanted to make sure we knew that people ship <laughs> yeah. um, Cat Noir and Ladybug. Yeah, in and it's fun. The, my favorite part is when they brought up pictures from like old episodes of them doing stuff. Yeah. That <laughs> Just, was great. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then there was the dance. Uh, I think they're also trying to, you know, they're, they're really like, pushing it more they're not using it as just like this cheap like little haha -ha, see like n nudge nudge like they're really trying to i think build the tension more you know adrian was really adamant about dancing with marinette and then they got really snug and close there uh, <laughs> he was like giving her compliments on her, her pastries and all that stuff so i think they're kind of driving home that adrian wants is is probably interested in marinette 
the same way. And they've been, you know, they hinted that towards that in season one too. But I think they're really trying to go for it more. Uh, and hopefully, what I'm hoping it's going to happen is by the mid season, we'll get some more of the, you know, other miraculous holders. And hopefully they will learn each other's identities. And then they're going to try to build the tension more than they did last season in the beginning of this season. So by the mid season, hopefully they learn each other's identities and that just completely like destroy, like it blows Marinette and Adrian's mind because obviously Adrian has a crush on uh, Ladybug and Marinette mm-hmm. has a crush on Adrian. So hopefully that'll come together. And also there's been, you know, hints that Adrian does know that uh marinette is ladybug or is at least kind of suspicious there's been like little hints at that uh through their interactions but um yeah what do you think about that i think they should just already learn each other's identities this is taking way too long (laughs) um (laughs) yeah and i don't i think but that it will be interesting like will they just kind of like fall in love a little faster because like i don't know how will marinette feel when she's like oh crap this cat noir who i actually kind of like kind of detest that point because he's just kind of annoying mm-hmm. um i'm serious i'm actually in love with him because you know he's adrian <laughs> but he acts so yeah. different so i'll i'm interested to see that definitely but i think yeah and definitely in the end they're gonna have together it's i don't know it just makes too much sense yeah i saw uh i actually saw a fan comic that was really tragic uh oh it was my like, gosh it was like marinette and adrian and they both know each other's identities and marinette's like no i can't be with you you don't love me you love ladybug she was like all sad oh, I was no. Like, oh no <laughs> so that'd be I, I would love some something like that actually that'd be a pretty interesting dynamic that would be a, i don't know if they'd go that route though but yeah this show's pretty safe for the most part mm-hmm. uh like get you know gabriel being hawk moth uh which i'm glad they got that out of the way like right away they didn't they're not like pulling that along so that's going to be a common theme hopefully they'll start kind of building you know these other plot points along more uh than they did last season because remember for those of you don't know who are listening to this the first season they only had three months to write all those episodes uh which is a lot especially since they're 22 minute episodes so they didn't have a lot of time to like really build too much of the world build too much of the character dynamics that's why it was so freaky the weekish and obviously we're seeing that with this season uh for the most part again there's more subtle hints and nods towards things to come but uh and you know we actually got a a relatively important character in marinette's grandmother but other than that it's pretty freaky the weekish which was kind of disappointing for me uh, because i was hoping we would get a more overarching plot Mm -hmm. but i'm hoping like i said by mid-season hopefully we'll get that do you think you know, it's going to take a while till we get to that point. Or do you think it's going to happen a lot faster? I think, I mean, we have 26 episodes, so I mean, already six have aired. So, um, I think, I think they should start picking up the pace a bit, like with stuff happening. Cause I don't, yeah. Like you said, I don't think anything else has happened. Cause from what I've seen, just the first episode really stood out to me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And like, well, I don't know how many people are left to get akumatized, really. Like, obviously, they're introducing they, no, new I mean, characters. They, it seems this season they keep introducing, like, a new side character for the episode. Right. Um, how many times are they going to do that? <laughs> every single time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, one of them's just, like, Adrian's fencing teacher or something like that. It's yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's super random. random. I think mm-hmm. we're probably going to get Mayor Bourgeois because there was a villain named The Dictator. So that's probably who that is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but other than that, I'm hoping we, get, like I said, get to an overarching plot pretty soon. Um, and we also do know that there is a greater universe at hand with other superheroes and stuff. So I feel like they can't really not address that for so long. They can they can only push that off so long. So hopefully we see more of that. But we do have a lot of episodes left. So, you know, they can kind of take their time more here. And like I said, there are more undertones of the future episodes now, more so than the first season. So I'm hoping that they really speed it along. Um, but this, the fact that they did start with the collector and they immediately told us who Hawkmoth was right yes. from the jump is a good sign. It says I love to that, me yeah. that they are trying to do some do some damage here uh, instead <laughs> of waiting till the, like the last two episodes to give an origin story and all this Honestly. lore and stuff, um, yeah. and Volpina and all that good stuff. So hopefully it will speed along a lot faster. But um. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much all I have to add to it. Like I said, a little disappointed that it's becoming more season one ish, but I do think it's gonna pick up very soon. And overall, it's it's still miraculous, it's still cheesy and charming, and all that all that good. Simply goodness. the best. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs>
stop it right now. Yes. So what, what are your um, what are your thoughts? Do you have anything else to add? Any any trivia pieces or anything? Um, well, I thought it was interesting in Despair Bear how it was mentioned like, oh, Chloe is like the causer of many, yeah. many people to get akumatized. <laughs> and Hawkmoth realizes that. So he's just he just sends the Akuma out and he's like, Okay, Chloe, do your damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Hawkmoth basically relies on Chloe's uh <laughs> viciousness. Yeah, so pretty soon maybe she won't be so vicious and you know, Hawk Moth will need <laughs> somebody else. <laughs> Yeah, and that, I mean, that could be the catalyst for the Peacock, Miraculous, potentially. Oh, um, yeah, maybe yeah. Maybe he's like, I don't know what to do here. And then, uh, you know, she takes the Peacock, Miraculous, is like, all right, man, look, you've been doing this for I don't know how long. It's time, time for action. It's time for moves to be made. And she yes. takes it upon herself. Um, Hopefully, like, we can do a lot more of these, because especially for the episodes that big stuff happens. And hopefully theories can come out soon or, like, I'll start thinking of stuff once I get some time. Uh, because mm -hmm. there probably is some stuff we can draw from, especially the first episode. Uh, because, of course, I, we still have big questions, like Adrian's mother. Um, yep. What's up with that? Like, is she, you know, you've mentioned that she might be dead, which is kind of sad. But, I mean, <laughs> that would give a big reason. Or at least Hawkmouth thinks, or Gabriel thinks she's dead. So that gives a big reason for the, him to want to get the creation and destruction miraculous. Uh, or miraculous is, yeah. So... There's still that, and there's still a bunch of other questions that hopefully theories can, you know, help give an answer to. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I think that'd be a pretty cool, you know, motivation, be good origin story for uh, Gabriel mm -hmm. slash Hawk Moth, and it would make sense for, as to why he would want the ultimate power, because that's the only way he could do that. Yes. Which is ironic, because, like, he could probably just ask uh, Ladybug and Catamore, like, hey, look, uh, my wife's <laughs> my dead. My wife is dead. Uh, <laughs> could, you, <laughs> could you hook me up? Uh, so you just put your stuff together and then you get an ultimate power type thing going on and then, I don't know, but maybe there's some type of drastic, like cataclysmic, no pun intended, damn, I did not mean to do that, uh, uh type of event cataclysm. or, stop it, <laughs> uh, cataclysm, uh, sacrifice that has to happen in order for that ultimate power to work correctly, so maybe that's yeah, why we don't they're know. separate. Yeah, we don't know how the person who ever holds both will react or like exactly. how... It will, yeah, impact them. Yeah, it could be bad. Could yeah, be bad. so that, that might be why he has to take it by force. But hopefully we'll be able to see this season. Um, and they are still working on season three, so there's a lot to look forward to here. Um, and again, going yes. to season three, I have no idea how they're going to use all these Paris citizens <laughs> for that. Yeah. Um, we do know that she's <laughs> Oh gonna... my gosh, true, true. Yeah. It, I mean, shows can change drastically from season to season, so it doesn't have to be like villain of the week <laughs> anymore which i would be i would be happy with that change honestly yeah for sure and we know she's going to uh new mm -hmm. york at some point so and china so we know she's like going to be traveling around and stuff so i'm not i'm not too worried about that but um we'll just have to wait and see what do you guys think of season two so far we're still pretty early on uh are you liking the freak of the week type stuff or would you rather it you know be a grander arc when do you think that grander arc is going to come what do you think about the shipping and the hawk moth and all that stuff were you surprised by hawk moth i would love to see uh how many people were actually surprised that gabriel was actually hawk moth and it wasn't misdirection uh so let us know in the comments down below and uh, be sure to uh, be on the lookout. We have a Cartoon Network event video coming out, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, it's like an hour-long video. It's a video with Rebecca Sugar and Ian Jones Cordy and uh, Julia Potts. And it was a really good time, really good event. So uh, be sure to subscribe so you can be notified for that. And hopefully we'll have more Miraculous videos for you guys in the near future as the episodes come out and big stuff is revealed. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've been Michael Williams, joined by Haley, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.